Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Zuri Books. My name is Desiree Crooks and I am the author of this beautiful Afrocentric children's novel, Nzinga, the great warrior of Angola. Definitely check out my website at www.nzuribooks.com. Today we are going to be talking about Louis Latimer. Some of you may be familiar with him as well as some of you may not. For those of you who are familiar with him, sit back, enjoy. For those of you who are not familiar with him, sit back, enjoy, and learn. Without further ado, let's get started. Number one, who was Louis Latimer? He was a great inventor. Number two, in what year was Louis Latimer born? He was born on September 4th, 1849. Number three, where was he born? He was born in Chelsea, Massachusetts. Number four, where did Latimer attend school and what were his best subjects? Louis Latimer attended Philip Grammar School in Chelsea, and he showed much promise in the fields of mathematics and drafting. Number five, did he have siblings? Yes, he had three brothers. Number six, what was his greatest invention? When Latimer was hired and employed by Hiram Maxim, competitor to Thomas Edison, Latimer invented the carbon filament. The carbon filament was an extremely important component to the light bulb. Now, even though the light bulb was invented by Thomas Edison, if it wasn't for Lewis Howard Latimer, the light bulb would not have been able to burn for as long as it does today. Thomas Edison was only able to keep the light bulb burning for a couple of hours, whereas Louis Latimer was able to keep the light bulb burning for an extended period of time. Number seven, what language did Latimer teach himself to speak? While working in North America, supervising the installation of electric street lights and electric light plants, Latimer was overseeing the electrical installation in Montreal. All the workers only spoke French. Being the person that Latimer was, he didn't allow this barrier to stop or get in his way. So he taught himself how to speak French and was able to communicate quite well and translate work orders. Number eight, name other inventions that Latimer invented. He developed an early version of a window air conditioner and a locking rack for hats, coats, and umbrellas. Number nine, when and where did Latimer die? Latimer died in Flushing, New York on December the 11th, 1928 at the age of 80. This brings us to the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you did and want to see more, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me the thumbs up. Follow me on all my social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Click on the bell. This way, whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Check out my website at www.nzuribooks.com. It takes a village to raise a child. I can't do this alone. Definitely check out my free movie, Act One, on my YouTube channel. The link will be provided in the description box at the bottom. If you like Act One of my movie, purchase Act Two. Purchase one of my books. Nzinga, the Great Warrior of Angola. A dollar from each purchase will be donated to one of my charities in Haiti. The name of the school is called Seni Belair. Peace. Blessings and much love. Ashe.